Well, hello, beautiful people. This is Steve from Black Boy Games, and welcome back to my playthrough of Doom. But not just any Doom, the ultimate Doom. Not even the penultimate Doom, but the actual ultimate Doom. It is ultimatizing. Ah, yes, ultimatized. Ah, uh, it's not Ultima Online. It's not. Oh, it, there's a lot of things that it, I, I won't list them all out for you because that would just be silly. But, back to shooting balls. Ah, uh, balls. Ah, uh, what is the circumference of that ball? Probably about a, a meter. Two or three feet. Wait, no, it's not circumference, that's diameter. Ah, uh, mathematics. Now this level, called Halls of the Damned, Episode 2, Mission 6, is one of the scariest missions in the whole game, or at least was, you know, back in the day. Like... This room, let's just have a little look around this room. Weird brown pillars that serve no purpose. Radioactive sludge. And a button that for whatever reason raises a floor to get that berserk pack. And then when you get that berserk pack, it lowers a whole lot of other stuff into the sludge and opens a door over there. And you're like, oh my goodness, the levels are certainly getting more difficult. <coughs> Areas that are trying to kill you. Random tunnels with red lights on the ceiling that strangely enough aren't round. And the last dash back to here. Now, that's the exit through the blue key door and a conventional door. Let's do some fisting. Don't say anything. Don't say anything at all. Punchies! Ah, yes. Fisting leads to jibbing. You've been warned, kitties. Whoa, hey! Alright, let's punch you! Oh, yes. Now, I'm gonna talk very briefly about engine things. You see that brown wall there? Ah, uh, yes, that brown wall leads to a chainsaw. I wonder how often that sentence gets said, that brown wall leads to a chainsaw. I bet that's not a sentence that gets said in regular conversation very often. But yeah, to talk about the engine. Now the Z-Doom front end, which I'm using for this game, modifies a number of things in the actual 3D engine itself. And one of the things it modifies is, um, in the original game, you had if you wanted to punch a monster, you had to hit the very center of the target. The spread of your fist had to punch into the very center of the hitbox, which obviously made it very difficult to hit large monsters, because obviously large monsters had a larger hitbox. You couldn't reach the center of the hitbox to hit it. Now, whether that was a bug or an intentional design, I'll leave up to your imaginations and the many Doom aficionados and experts who are out there who've pulled the Doom engine to pieces. Uh, but in Z-Doom, you've only got to hit the outside perimeter of the uh, monster's hitbox, and that makes it far easier to go fisticuffs with, you know, just about everything. Now, this level is so bizarre and weird. Like, here we have, like, normal space basey looking area, and then we suddenly merge into this wooden, hellish skulls looking area. Uh, yep. Progressing forwards. The other thing that Zed Doom does is makes the game slightly lighter than it originally was. Uh, what did that do? Hey! And that was a Baron of Hell. Not sure I want to fisticuffs him, but I'm going to anyway. You see how far away I was when I punched him then? That was because... Woo! Ow! Do you mind? He doesn't mind at all, on account of he's dead. Now, let's push onwards. Lamb. Oh, splat. I feel like I'm in one of those 60s... Whoa, invisible monster. Whoa, another one. That's how scary this game was back in the day. But now that I'm actually good at this game... Uh, well... Moderately good. Oh, don't shoot me! Oh, man. Listening. Not a strength of zombies, apparently. Ah, uh, so don't go to zombies for, you know, grief counselling. Ah, uh, grief counselling from zombies. I'm feeling very sad. My life isn't working out the way I, w I wanted it to. Brains. Um, okay. Brains. Thank you, zombie. Ah, uh, that's gonna hurt. We might do something different with all of them. Ew. 
There we go. Now, let's go back to using shotgun shells. Because shotguns, and for no other reason. I love these weird tech wall things. Like, I mean, what purpose do they serve? Ah, uh, scrolling skulls. Nothing says terror, like skull motif scrolling across a wall. Ow! Ah, yes. And here is a heart on a marble pillar. I can't help but feel that it's somehow esoterically different from wearing your heart on your sleeve. Hey, good to see ya. Uh, that's not a secret switch. I mean, I knew it wasn't, but I was doing that for demonstration purposes. Um, helmets, yeah, that's good. Hey there, good to see ya. Ow. Ah, uh, yes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this area and we're going to find for ourselves some rockets, some shells, and light vision goggles. Um, in the Doom community, from what I have read, the light vision goggles are also known as the automatic map uglifier because they tend to make old maps especially look really ugly and show off how much weirdly contrasting colours there are everywhere. Ah, weirdly contrasting colours. Let's go, oh, shells and rockets, let's get out of this area. I now have a red key and a blue key, which you need to go through the exit door. See, we'll head very quickly back to the exit. Back to the exit, it's like back to the future, but not. See, blue, red, but you also need the yellow key to get through the exit. Alrighty. Now. Let's go this way. Now you probably saw there that the lost soul went to lunge at me but lunged in the wrong direction. And that was because I'm invisible and it couldn't see me clearly so it just lunged anywhere. Another set of all vision goggles, rad vision goggles, night vision goggles, ah uh, goggles. Uh, Alright, let's go, come on. Whoop, don't hit me. You can't touch this. Oh, hi. Pink things to the left of me. Pink things to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with a shotgun. Oh, yeah, shotguns. Oh, wow. It's like sort of a menorah, but... Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trouble. Time for one of these. La 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 Ah, whenever in doubt, plasma. That's my life motto. Now let's go this way, with weird bricks on the floor, weird bricks on the ceiling. Now this section, back in the day, was hard. Oh hey! Oh man. I've been spooned by a big red ball. How very unpleasant-ish. I'm gonna get that health. Let's see what's this way. Exit. Alright, I need the yellow key for that. Yeah. Now, the very observant among you may be asking yourselves, but wasn't the exit all the way back at the start? Is there more than one exit? Well, dear viewer, you shall soon see. It may be a secret level exit. It may be a different exit. It may be a second exit to the regular next level. Come on, let's go. Let's get things on. Uh, and by these things, I mean murder of balls. Uh, a murder of balls. It's like a murder of crows. Ah, yes. Murder of crows. Is that not the best collective noun you have ever heard in your short and delightful little lives? Yes. Well, not little as in, you know, condescending, you know, not... But, you know, awesome lives, I hope. Alright. Shoot the pink thing. Time for some chain gun. Chain gun! Alrighty. Uh, let's see what else we got. There's the yellow key. The yellow key holds the key to many things. Specifically, the yellow key doors is what it holds the key to. Well, it is the key to, so I suppose you can't really hold the key and be the key. Unless you're living in some weird alternate universe. Ah, uh, yes.
Do do do. Where am I going? Um. All right. Well, let's go check out this exit. Was that the? Oh, what's in here? Woo! Woo! They're certainly being pretty liberal with the, with the uh, the you know the goggles of goggliness, vision goggles, light goggles. Now the way that um, the lighting is done on this level is not the way that lighting was done on more modern engines. The lighting was actually done by having a color map of all the pixels and changing the color of the pixels. So in a really dark area the um, color of a pixel would be that dark brown that you can see directly above the middle of my gun but in a re when the area got really light it would change the color of that pixel to something much lighter to give the simulation of light but it wasn't actually changing the light levels it was changing the color gradients of all the pixels very clever very early technology let's get out of here now uh, which way was the exit this way yes this way all right to the exit! Ah, uh, through there. Exit switch. And then you discover... Ow. Oh, you discover that it's not actually an exit. It's a fake exit. It's like fake news. Ow. Oh. And then they give you some health, because I'm a little low on health. And the red balls are beautifully camouflaged against the red ball wall. Ah, uh, the red ball wall. The tall red ball wall. Ah, uh, yes. Tall red ball wall. I bet they're not words you hear together very often. And I just picked up a blue ball. I picked up a blue ball in the tall red wall of balls. Ah, yes. Ah. I am simply appalled by the number of red balls in the tall red ball wall room. Yes, there you go. That's the best I can do on short notice. Ah, yes. I would call that... A great call. Now, where am I going? Back to the real exit now. Back to the real exit. Let's go. Hello. How are you guys doing? Don't. No. No. Okay. More plasma. I want to try and fill up on plasma, actually. Where did you come from? Ah, uh, you sneaky little peasant. You were trying to flank me, weren't you? I hear more monsters. Whoa! Alrighty, let's get the blue armor. And our health and armor situation is pretty damn good. I mean, you know, as it should be. Alright, on to the next level. This level's taken me a while, 12 minutes. I was hoping to get through two levels in... Hey there! How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, uh, don't step in the sludge. You blithering bluster muffin. Ah, bluster muffin. I have never said that word before in my life. Now here is the real exit. Let's have a look at how we did on the snow and ice laden plains of Phobos or Demos, something like that. I didn't kill everything. I am disappointed, but I did get all the secrets and I got most of the items. You are here, the spawning vats, another big level. We're gonna rip through this level. We're gonna rip through this level hard. Ah, yes. Okay, let's get it on. Health right at the start, that should tell you something about the challenge of this level. This is the second last level in this whole episode. Did I do the secret level on this episode? Yeah, I did. I did it. I did it just on the last video. Alright, come on, let's get it on. I have very few bullets left. Whoa, that's a lot of pinky demons. Let's dodge around. Let's not dodge around because I didn't have enough room. Now I'll dodge around. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of pinkies. Uh, time for some rockets. Yeah, rockets. Ow! You know the problem with rockets? You can quite comprehensively hurt yourself. Alright, let's go. Plasma. Stuff and things. Invulnerability ball. Invulnerability ball, you say. And berserk. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? Yes. Oh, damn, that slow lowering switch is holding me up. Alright, let's go. Oh, yes. I punched him right in the ball. I know I've said that before, but it's such a good call. And now we're going to go this way, up these stairs. Oh, wow, I just ran over your head. And then I punched you into pieces. Now this does something or other, I can't remember what. Get all the ammo and stuff. 
I'm now invisible. <laughs> invisible. Oh, it sounds like one of those cheap products that you'd buy off one of those telecommercial channels. Let's go in here. Oh, I can't go in there. Because there's a switch there. Let's go. Whoop. Whoa. Splat. Oh, yes. Oh, I want that. Um, shells, I want all of that. Alrighty. And we are done. I think we had to come this way to hit those switches first. I can't actually remember. Look at this level. Like, just look at the weirdness of it all. It's... Playing this game when you'd never played through a 3D engine before was simply surreal. Like, you don't understand how surreal this is. I know it looks a bit old school and like, what the hell design choices were they making back there? Now, there's a secret behind that wall there. I'll see if I can remember how to get it. Alrighty, blue key door there. I require the blue key. Who knew? Who knew? Alright, let's go. Ah, yes. What's out here? Let's have a look around. Hey, good to see ya. I mean, not that I saw you, because it's dark. Wow. Now there's a switch here, which leads us to a secret, and another chainsaw in a secret. In case you hadn't found all the other chainsaw secrets that have happened so far on this episode. Alright, oh, hey, good to see ya. Allow me to divest you of some of your health. Ah, yes. And you of all of your health. Now, let's... Yeah, screw it. Let's get that invulnerability ball. Your screen goes very white when you're invulnerable, doesn't it? But you can use rockets with impugnity. Ah, uh, impugnity. Let's play Choose the Mispronounced Word, boys and girls. Now, we step through there. Oh, we need the red key to hit that switch. I want the red key. Want a red key? Want it now. Uh, before my invulnerability runs out. But we're not going to get it before time runs out, are we? Um, and I've made, I think, a horrible mistake. Because you had to go the other way to... Hey, I've got a blue key. Oh, that's alright. Oh, that's not alright. Let's get the ammo. Alright, sorry everyone. Backtrackery. There's going to be some backtrackery. And now we have the blue key. We've got to go to the blue key door. Which, as I recall, was this way. Hello, Pinky. Allow me to introduce you to lead. Ah, you are being led. Not by the spirit, but by lead. Ah, yes. The spirit tends to do things like cause you to fast for 40 days. Which, I can attest, is a challenge. A challenge. Now I've got the yellow key. Yellow key door. And the yellow key door takes me to this area, which you'll remember led to that other area before, which you probably don't remember because, you know, memory. And also because this level is confusing, and if you haven't played this game quite a bit, this everything tends to blur into everything else. But I love the way this level looks. I would love to see a faithful recreation of this in a modern engine. But by faithful, I mean... Oh, I just got hurt. I think I got hurt because the blue balls. Hey, let's see if we can blow up that barrel there. Well, it moderately inconvenienced three imps. Ah, yes. Moderately inconveniencing three imps. I can tick that off my bucket list now. My bucket list. Okay, come on, let's go. We've got to get this level done. I want to keep these episodes to a moderate length. Hit the switch. Down comes the red key. El das Schlüssel Ross. If you speak in German. Uh, and I don't speak a lot of German. I don't even know why I know the German words for red and or key. Now, to the red key door here, which we shall now open and release a caco demon from its fiery little hidey hole. Ah, yes, if you've eaten a lot of chili, you also have a fiery little hidey hole. You see what I did there. All right, now where am I going? We've got to go back into here. And now that I'm not invulnerable, this is going to hurt. Standing in corrupted blood apparently hurts your tootsies. Now, what we've done is, ah, oh, back to the start. Back to the start. And this level didn't take that long at all. I'm quite pleased. Oh, there was another switch I had to hit. There was two switches you had to hit. I can't remember where the other switch is. I've got eight seconds to figure it out. I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is, but I don't know how to get there. All right, let's just run around very quickly wasn't this way. Let's be logical about it. 
Ah, to logics. I have all of your logics are belong to us. I'm very logical. Not according to my lovely ex. She didn't think I was very logical at all. But she was super logical. But in a really deeply emotional way. It really worked. And why am I talking about my ex? This is... Um... Mm, yeah, I know where I had to go now. This way. No. Not that way. Sorry. Sorry, I apologize from the bottom of what passes for a heart in my case. It was this way. Yes, this switch. Oh, hey, good to see you. And by good to see you, I mean die. Ah, uh, yes, I should always say what I mean and mean what I say. Kill him. We are literally done with this level, skis. I think that's everything. We are done with this level. We are done with this episode. We are done with this... Well, we're not done with this life. Alright, to the exit. To the exit. Exit today. Uh, can't pick up any health, can't pick up any anything else. And, next mission, good people. Next mission, Tower of Babel. Boss fight. We are going to go and face the toughest monster in the entire game. Beautiful people, we're going to wind this up right here right now. And by right now, I mean in a few seconds after I've prattled, rambled, and or caterwauled on some more about whatever. Alright, so we are at the Tower of Babel. Let's end. And you can see, you know these big, tough, um, nasty Baron dudes? Something or other has been tying them to walls and torturing them. Big, bad monster. Wow. Big, bad monster. Let's get that blue armor. Let's raise the stairs. Oh yeah, and you hit all the switches, raises all the stairs, and I like raising all the stairs. Guys, this is Steve from Blockboard Games, as always, it is a pride, a pleasure, and a privilege to be bringing you this playthrough of the ultimate, magnificent, epic, and wonderful Doom. Thanks guys, much love, bye for now.